If you want to know how to make a health bar GUI in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel and in this tutorial we're going to be making a health bar GUI in Roblox Studio. Um, so if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. The health bar is like, if you get damage, it will display how much health you have left. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. So, with all of that said, I'm going to continue. I'm going to make a uh, GUI, of course. So we're going to go and make a screen GUI in Starter GUI. Um, and we're going to make it a health health gui we're gonna making a frame into that and put the frame at 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 and it should be a little bit offset but don't worry so another position is going to be 0 0.1 comma 0 comma 0 0.9 comma 0 to then uh the size is going to be 400 all the way around 0 comma 400 comma 0 comma 50 and it's still not enough so we're going to crank the position up to 2 as you can see, now it's good. Going to be adding a UI corner to this. And we're going to be adding another frame to it. Going to be adding another frame to it. And it's going to be called bar. Called bar. Why can I not rename certain things? I can rename these, but not these. God dang. Anyways, um... The bar is going to be 1,0, 1,0. And this one should be red. And yeah, you can just do whatever you want with this one. I'm just going to make it a little bit grayish. Um, so that is basically what you want to do. For the bar, the anchor point should be 0, 0,1. And then you want to crank the position back again. So anchor point that is 0, 0,1 and position 0, 0,0. zero. Come out one, come zero. Okay. Okay. What is going on outside? Literally nothing. Back to work. Um. So we're gonna be making that health bar. And over here, you want to make a local script. And you want to type something really simple, and that is local players. Is it because the game? Call on get service. Uh, players. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, that, of course, and we're going to be doing local player. As it's the game, correction players dot local player, local char, as it's the player dot character. So now that you've defined your players, player and character, we can do char colon wait for child humanoid. Oh, waiting for the humanoid colon get property change signal. Health, so we're going to be checking if the health is, has been changed. And if that is so, we're going to make it a function. So we're going to do colon connect function like that. We're going to be pressing enter. We're going to do local data as it's the UDM2 that new. And we're going to be doing over here, we're going to be doing zero, comma, and in two brackets, we're going to do char colon wait for child humanoid. Uh, dot health. Gonna be d dividing this by char colon. Wait for child. Humanoid. Oh, humanoid. Dot max health. So we're now we're dividing our current health with our maximum health, and we want to do this times a thousand in this case. We do comma one comma zero. Simple, right? Now we can do script that parent uh, dot frame the bar that size is equals to data so this is actually how simple it is so we're going to be clicking play i am not going to guarantee it works add a ui corner if you want okay so I need something that damages me, so I'm just gonna put it on a client. Just gonna go to 
Oh, workspace. Newbie. This is like... Whoa, they changed this. Okay. I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna find the humanoid over here. This is our humanoid. And my health should be 50. And it's going up. Wait, what? If I have 1 HP... Hmm. So 50, I'm already going up. Mm, that is really weird, and I'm gonna figure this out. And I have figured out the issue. I did a thousand, but over here you see 400. So you wanna do uh, that times the size of the frame, this one. So I think we can just do script.parent.frame.size.x. Well, that's 0, 400. You want to do times 400, and you should be good to go. So we're going to be testing this out again. Alrighty. We're just going to wait. I'm rendering a video, but okay. Um, So we're going to go to workspace. We're going to go to me. We're going to go to humanoid, and we're going to put myself on 10 HP. And as you can see, we're over there. And we should be gradually regenerating. I am unsure. So now if we put it at 100, we're fully. If we put it at 99, we're a little bit down. Put it at 50, it's halfway. 25, a quarter. 75, third of a quarter. Or third of a, uh, I don't know. So you get the point. So if you would put the max off to 150, it's going to go over it. Actually, not. Because we're dividing our max health times the size of the frame. So this is a really short video on how to do that. So if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Make sure to become a member if you want. My name is Newbie, and I say peace out.